to people. I don't feel comfortable uh, standing uh, there because uh, that position uh, makes a uh, hierarchy and uh, my name is Mikola Klinchuk. I uh, translate uh, books. I've been dealing it uh, for 20 years. I've translated already 20 or 30 books, mostly uh, historical books and Mostly these are bo uh, historical books and uh, also fiction. And uh, Stephen Hawking is maybe the most famous books book. Also a uh, biography of Einstein by uh, of, of Isaacson and uh, uh, authors or different different famous authors and. Uh, uh, when the, m the moment came when I uh, had to uh, interpret uh, well, a uh, book about Richard Feynman. Uh, Richard Feynman is Nobel Prize laureate uh, of 1965. He is the father of quantum chromodynamics. In the f uh, history of physics, there was a period of individual players. And uh, maybe Albert Einstein is uh, one of the most famous individual players who he created a uh, revolution in physics uh, when he was uh, 25 having a pencil and a piece of paper, also Niels Bohr. And this was the uh, last generation of uh, physics individualists, uh, physicist individualists. And uh, Feynman uh, was the last person to finish this uh, g generation. And now you uh, have to work in team. Individual science finished, and uh, you have to be a team worker. In the year 1975, uh, uh, he uh, wrote uh, books, uh, his memories, and they became a bestseller in the United Sa uh, States. And uh, uh, there are uh, three Russian uh, translations, and uh, I uh, created a Ukrainian trans uh, translation. I think it is the best edition uh, of Feynman in the world. I mean uh, the edition, not the translation quality. Mm. Uh, it was created by a cool team of editors, of designers, and uh, as a result, uh, uh, we created state of the art. This is uh, how this book uh, looks like. This, it has super cover and. Uh, uh, this cover oh, is cool. In designer sense, it's really cool. And uh, from the very beginning, uh, actually, I didn't say about it. Uh, I, uh, I want to say that by the end, we are going uh, to uh, play a prize for the uh, best question. For the first ha uh, half an hour, I'm going to say uh, who was Feynman. Then uh, we will have a pause. We will have a break. And then I'm going to tell you in the textual uh, point aspect how this text was translated, which illusions he used, which problems we faced with, uh, how we could avoid uh, some words and uh, <laughs> And <laughs> oh, <laughs> and uh, how uh, uh, how we could uh, choose the best word. Um, and uh, uh, yes, I told you that uh, uh, it is for uh, an audience 18 plus, with the age 18 plus. So this is uh, the title of this book, and in my books I. Uh, uh, so, uh, well, usually uh, all translators say, uh, write that uh, a translation was done by, uh, for example, Vasily Pupkin, and I ask the editors not to write it because uh, um, the title of the, the name of the book, the title of the book and the interpreter's name become a whole, uh, one whole. and. Uh, I think Adventure of a Curious Character, uh, it is uh, 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 done by uh, Edward Hutchinson and uh, the name of the translator uh, becomes one whole and uh, uh, it, is a it is a bad thing because um, 
we don't see who wrote this book actually by the moment i started tr uh, translating this book i uh, was the editor in chief uh, and i was a very uh, busy person and uh, i asked uh, to translate uh, alexei nigribetsky you know this person he is a translator of the agency alpha but uh, uh, he was busy and uh, to victimize uh, such a book as Feynman, um, I couldn't allow myself to do it, and I decided to uh, do it myself. On the, the example of Feynman, I I can tell you uh, how a uh, book translation looks like. Mm. Um, I, for example, I d don't uh, deal with consecutive or translate uh, or can. Uh, with oral okay. translation uh, so let me tell you what we do when we do this uh, and the stages uh, we are given time for translation and then uh, uh, how to uh, make a deadline and how to meet this deadline and there is a stage uh, a definite stage uh, uh, that is uh, technical control uh, 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 Quality, uh, quality that is the quality assurance control and when I say translator I mean a person who translates books not uh, uh, interpreters not simultaneous or consecutive interpreters and there is also uh, Mm, proofreading and uh, authorization stage uh, which is usually uh, missed but uh, uh, and uh, if you miss the stage you will defeat you will really defeat uh, you will be defeated and uh, uh, and also desktop uh, I know uh, uh, well um, desktop uh, desktop stage of my books are made are done by me personally also uh, 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 also a uh, correction correct correctors usually hate uh, proofreaders and uh, also errata and uh, promo stage mm -hmm. Uh, I try to be uh, connected with promo stage of my books because uh, 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 marketologists uh, uh, do not understand books better than you or than editor because if you translated this book, uh, this book is like your own child and uh, a marketologist deals with lots of books and it doesn't mean that uh, a marketologist can sell your books better than you can. As for book, you have to be prepared to uh, book translation, and uh, uh, this preparation will never be finished. When a uh, translator's uh, work will be finished, correct answer would be when he gets money. In case, uh, the bo in case our book, the book about Feynman, it is uh, a longer story because. Uh, it uh, uh, b belongs to the category of books uh, which will always exist in the mar market because uh, this uh, book uh, was first published 30 years ago and it is still rather valuable and uh, it uh, has been translated into 30 other languages it is this book is really cool before we start uh, translating we have to give answer to key questions what kind of book uh, we are given we, uh, to translation what is the deadline editors usually say you have you had to do it by yesterday and what is the money you get for it and uh, former uh, Kievan Evgeny Madvedalaskin uh, uh, said that uh, a translation uh, has a uh, sense if if uh, if it gives you the sense of adventure and does any book give you the sense of uh, of adventure uh, no you must uh, really create this sense and uh, my challenge was uh, to try I made the challenge for myself uh, to translate Feynman in 30 uh, days and uh, 
so uh, uh, the, I um, worked for several days, and uh, the page had to contain 40,000 uh, uh, pre uh, 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 character signs, and now uh, we have a, a new way to measure our work in printing pages. Uh, and according to the number amount of printing pages, uh, you get the amount of, ma of money. I uh, managed to translate in 31 days. Uh, before you uh, start working with a book, you have to understand where you are and where are the things. You have to, uh, to learn this position. You have to ask the book. And without uh, uh, these questions, you will not know anything. First, the, about textology, uh, because there are books with different textology. For example, if you want uh, uh, to uh, uh, translate uh, large books a uh, large book um, for example uh, and uh, the book of Yerofeev Moscow Petushki a famous Russian book so and now the question what kind of uh, edition of this book should be a canon one and the answer is uh, the specially trained people textologists and they are trained in the Academy of Scientists and you can write an email to them and ask them about that and of course this connect related to the situation when you tra translate in classics for example Shakespeare's what uh, edition do you use or for example you would like to translate for example Taras Bulba by Mikola Gogol and there are two uh, editions and which one is uh, the authorized authorized uh, edition and in the contract uh, for the translation uh, you should include this information that, for example, uh, from the situation that in Facebook the readers uh, tell you, for example, it was not correctly translated, and uh, I can ask why do you think that it is not a, a right word? For example, the academic science uh, stated that on the page 35, the second paragraph in uh, the top you shouldn't read mother you should read father and don't tell the translator what he or she should do then uh, when this book appeared and it uh, real influences the wording for example uh, stores stores are absolute word well, that as Fania Ronevska told, it's strange that we have a but, but we don't have a word for that but. Uh, how the words uh, sh are shaped. And uh, please read lectures by Vladimir Nabokov, uh, lectures on literature. He teaches there uh, that he uh, teach how to do the analysis of the shape of the words and for example the uh, shape of the book uh, provides some lexical ways what this book is about this is not a simple question you may think of and i uh, would very often ask my uh, audiences what lalita is about no 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 it's not about what you th uh, think of and what does the author want to say? It's a very difficult question. And this is the product of the interpretation. If the author uh, didn't inform you that he w would like to tell you this and that, and the answer will be a bias to interpretation, by interpretation. And it is biased. And this is very specific craft. And here we can speak about one more lecture for four-day lecture. What, uh, in fact, we translate. There are lots of tones of literature is written about that. But this is the Umberto Echo's Six Walks in the Semiotic Woods. And you may say, you may say the same. There is one more book by Umberto Echo and how this 
story is written, who is the authors, literally. We understand that Professor Helder of Helderberg University speaks another language than the professor from some out, well, some f f f far away South African university. And one more thing, and I uh, call this thing discursive and semiotic, semiotic field, but I will explain you about. So I knew about this book. I uh, read it uh, in the 80s, and I read it in the Science and uh, Life, a famous Soviet uh, magazine, and I read it in the water closet uh, toilet because it was a very, very uh, respected place where we shared our sacred thoughts with the book. Sometimes people think that toilet is a kind of uh, Siberia for the book or exile. No, this is a luxury, a spa for a book. And I read all the three translations and they are the good, the bad and the ugly. The good was done by Sergei Lin, famous uh, Russian translator. Uh, he is a physicist by education. The, uh, what was in Science and Life magazine, Nauka uh, i it was uh, bad or the ugly. And also uh, read the recollections of Marek Katz and the last Uh, the last statement of Ukrainian mathematics was made before uh, the World War II in Lviv. So, half an hour have passed. What should we do? What should I do? Okay, I shall continue. Then recollections of Norbert Winners recollections. I am a mathematics. They are translated. He is a wunderkind kind and he is the father of cybernetics. He uh, coined this word. Then Stanislav Ulem, recollections and the famous mathematicians, and they all uh, moved to the United States and they uh, worked in the Manhattan Project. And this man uh, project was the most complicated project because the Americans uh, sent a ship, spaceship to the moon, and in intellectual planet was the most complicated project. Feynman wrote lots of physical texts, uh, text on physics. He was uh, angry with the standard books. If you want textbooks and if you would like to uh, do your job good, please do it by yourself. And I read uh, these uh, recollections to understand the landscape, houses, colors it's very important if you translate some of the period for example drama please look the movie the idea is that of course let's imagine for example we translate Jane Austen in British movies there will be a very high quality decorators they will show you the interiors the sets etc and they do a lot of things instead of you and they will allow you to save your forces on them and there is no book where movie is absent in this or that shape and I uh, can uh, recommend you to be interested in movies for example a serious uh, Manhattan project was very very weak well but the uh, houses they lived, they were depicted very nicely. And then here you can see our hero, our personage in the Nobel banquet, Nobel party. And when, and when we, and when we, when we understand this text, it's a very, very good thing. All these books I would uh, read uh, if I uh, don't translate Feynman. And you've become a specialist and expert in Manhattan Project history. You can uh, support, continue the conversation. And it's very, very good. On the uh, About the translation, the best words were said since when 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 the translation appeared when the babylon tower was 
uh, ruined. And Pantelimon Alexandrovich Kulish told uh, the Ukrainian Renaissance, this is the work which drains your brain and gives few money. And this is a very deep uh, thought of uh, Marek Katz that geniuses can be of two kinds, the usual and magicians. Ordinary and the magicians. And you will become a fellow of the author. You understand what he read. You understand the context. And then, yes, I like this very much, to understand that Feynman was in depression, uh, you could uh, understand that he is a bit more funnier, that he usually is. There is lots of measures of the the words words have lots of dimensions and you have to take a uh, bear in mind to what time you can use this word and can you use in Feynman's uh, translation used uh, f f feminitives no because uh, Feynman had a sexist uh, re uh, reputation and uh, there was also there were demonstrations against him in Kauteko and uh, uh, about his relations everything was taken away uh, in uh, Soviet editions, and you mustn't make uh, the author more progressive than he used to be. Uh, also, as well as you cannot, for ex or we couldn't, for example, use the word design in Soviet uh, uh, times. And we couldn't uh, say, for example, uh, that there was a rocket uh, constructed, the rocket had a new design. We ma had to say construction according to Russian language and according to that uh, time, to those times. Coming back uh, to the topic of adventures, how we can invent ad adventures. So uh, the uh, uh, the book appeared when Feynman was uh, 100 uh, years old, and uh, this was a dedication. Uh, and uh, uh, probably uh, the publishing house doesn't know w uh, when Feynman uh, has a birthday, but uh, we should remind them, uh, hey, guys, you are translating Feynman when he is 100 years old. Uh, so. I decided to make this dedication, and a uh, great mathematician, John von Neyman, uh, gave me a very good idea uh, to be responsible uh, for the environment. It is not necessary. And uh, I uh, developed a sense of uh, social irresponsibility, and I became happy. What does this What is the function of this text on this page? Uh, uh, we are a progressive uh, publishing house, and uh, uh, we edit uh, different kind of philosophical books. We are socially responsible, and uh, I uh, decided uh, to uh, uh, find a quotation uh, that uh, to maybe to throw the publishing house somehow. And they didn't, they couldn't understand it because if I explained them my joke, they would ask me to uh, take another uh, quotation. Uh, so. Uh, are we uh, filmed? Are we being, are we filmed? Uh, so uh, maybe the. Uh, why the most interesting things happen behind the uh, curtain. Uh, publishing houses uh, do not uh, like uh, to say how many books they uh, publish uh, because uh, they will deal with um, uh, uh, with tax inspection, and uh, uh, we published uh, uh, 1,000 books, and uh, uh, I uh, uh, 
chose another quotation of Feynman, and we are in our publishing house. We knew that it is the first edition of a book, and this is the second edition of a book, and the reader and the text inspector do not know about it. Hmm. And I don't know uh, whether uh, my correction uh, was in this uh, edition. Whenever you have a book, uh, and uh, the book uh, has uh, a lot of uh, mm, uh, uh, so it has it must have a review and it has already uh, got a number of re reviews and it means that people are expect uh, expecting something and this book uh, was already pop uh, has already been popular before i started working uh, at this book and before i start reading uh, uh, how to uh, stop uh, thinking and scratching us and start living uh, it's better to uh, read once uh, Feynman, and uh, I had to understand uh, how readers perceive Feynman when a uh, uh, publishing house uh, announced that we are going to uh, publish Feynman. Uh, everybody was happy, uh, but uh, of course there will be people who uh, Mm, will criticize you. I liked Mr. Verbitsky, some, someone Verbitsky. I don't know this person, this person, uh, uh, but uh, this person asked me, uh, I wonder uh, whether the translation will be as bad as the Russian was, but we can interpret it in two ways. Uh, uh, maybe Russian, uh, Ukrainian uh, translation will be better uh, than Russian, or it will be war, uh, it will be really of uh, works. Um, well, uh, it's uh, that uh, it's. Uh, the translator's work is really responsible, and uh, uh, the life of the book, the essence of the book, depends on the translator. And uh, when you uh, learned all these things, once you've learned all these things, you will have uh, answers uh, to what uh, as to what you are going to work with. Uh, it's a life of uh, Feynman, uh, and 40 years uh, from childhood, a Great Depression. Uh, to the time he was teaching in Kautehu in the 50s and 70s. And central focal point is Manhattan Project. As uh, it was, uh, as I said, uh, the text is rather simple. Okay. So let's have a break. Let's eat watermelon. And after that, we will continue. Uh, now I know uh, how to measure success. If uh, this series is good, so next season uh, there will be v more people who will v watch it. I counted you and I know how many people will attend our next session. Thank you.